old brushless motors. That's right. We're putting big old brushless motors on the RC. Are you okay? What was I doing? Oh yeah. www.bigoldbrushlessmotors.com. Here's the old motors and the gearbox. So these are completely seized up. I smell something kind of toasty. That motor is not spinning. Can you hear that? That sounds really bad. Uh, those drive this gearbox, which then engages to the uh, wheel. And no, it's missing a piece. We can either use this gearbox. Actually, we're not. Spoiler, I think I've kind of already done a little bit of planning. The plan is to ditch all the gears, cut a large diameter timing pulley, and drive it directly from one of these brushless motors. We're gonna be using this brushless driver made by Oscar Weigel? Weigel? It's like bagel, but with a W in front of it. Weigel? That's wrong. Sorry, Oscar. And this is basically a servo drive. It turns the brushless motor into a servo by attaching a encoder to it. And it's called O-Drive. Let's go look at what I started doing. <laughs> so the motor needs to be mounted in kind of on a weird angle, since this the side of the car is at an angle, probably to do with manufacturing of like pulling the plastic out of whatever formed it. The mount between this pulley and this pulley needs to be relatively rigid. And if it's not, things will flex and teeth will skip and the belts will pop off. We should just start cutting stuff and then see what happens. Chelsea, I understand you like Taylor Swift, but it's laser time. Chelsea! Chelsea! We can't afford that music, so we're gonna drown it out with air compressor noises. So here's the timing pulley. I'm gonna export it, and then we're gonna cut it out of something like cardboard, because cardboard's cheap. It's cleaning time. <laughs> Because there's a bunch of stuff piled on top. Really, the solution to this problem is not piling stuff up here like this. I keep telling myself that I'm gonna finish the, like, not <laughs> finish the laser, but like put the door on it, put the switches on the front. It's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. How does that fit? Oh yeah. If you pull it hard enough, it stretches. Maybe it stretches into place or something. Let's cut that. Should we cut that? Uh, uh, uh. What do you think, cameraman? If you had to pick between cutting two quarter inch and one half inch, what would you choose? Hmm. All right, that's half inch. Or is it a high five? Two quarters. Is that a high five? That's a high five. All right, so it looks like uh, that's not helpful. And uh, I'm on my own with that decision. I think we're cutting two quarter. How about you turn the, the laser on? It's the big red button. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, that is nice. We were gonna put the the uh, pulley together on camera, and then we didn't do that, so it's done. And then this is Oscar. Hello. Oscar made the motor driver, and we're gonna try to turn it on right now. We've been working frivolously, frivolously, frivolous. What word were you trying to say? Friver frivolously. Frivolous isn't that like unnecessary? Yeah. Yeah, we've been working unnecessarily hard. <laughs> uh, we've been working hard, and we're using small words now with less letters so that I know what they mean and I know how to say them. So how does it decide which direction is which? For now, it will go either forwards or backwards, and we'll just flip it Change if it's it. wrong. Oh, like rewire it? No, 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 just write the code. Okay, the okay, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some tear in your pants. Yeah. Oh, Have I shown you pictures of the 400 amp fused 300 volt traction motor battery? No. That blew up a motor controller I was working on. Like in your face? No, like behind a blast shield around the corner. And it was terrifying, it was molten metal dripping on the floor. Did you film it? No. Mm. Mistake number one. <laughs> Plug it in, Oscar. I'm gonna look through this tiny hole so I protect my beautiful face. I'm gonna put on my safety squid. I love how you like half connect it. Is that so you can unplug it quicker? Yeah. Well, the encoder's not plugged in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should we send it information? So, position, motor Mode. zero, position zero. Cameraman, do you want to be on here? All right, no, cameraman. Don't, don't short anything. Let it rip. You gotta hit the enter button. Just tap it. Yeah! Hey! 
Smells good to me. The further we get into this, the more I think putting a little kid in this car is a bad idea. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, John thinks it's a good idea. Oh, what should we do now? Uh, I think we should put a speed limit on it. Okay. And then try torque command instead. And see what happens. And see what happens. Okay, do we gotta reprogram it? Yeah. Okay, so motor power, so it calculates the PID and then air test. You know, we can just put casters on the front and then use torque vectoring to <laughs> this <is> here. <laughs> Now it's not working. Try it if I hold it like this. Have you been? No. But it seems like when it worked, it worked well. Yeah. It works! Oscar did some wi wizard stuff. <laughs> this is not a full power test because there's lots of current limiting to prevent bad things from happening. Especially because we're indoors. And we're indoors and we're, hopefully we won't tear the floors up. Do you want to hold that? Actually, you should have the honors. Okay. It looks like it's going. Yeah, I think this guy is just uh, really friction. This, this belt is tensioned way more. It works! <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. Go buy Oscar's motor driver. <laughs> it costs $10. <laughs> Oscar operates at a heavy loss for community service to reduce his prison sentence <laughs> for <laughs> murder. <laughs> Oscar murdered 10 children <laughs> to death. having some problems. And you might be thinking, what kind of problems, William? The answer is all the problems. There's a crack in the shaft mount here, and that's allowing the wheel and the motor to compress together, which makes the belt slip. The motor's getting hot, which is warming up the coupling to the encoder, which is heating the motor even more since it's running less efficiently, and then it progressively gets worse. And then, and then the firmware issue is something Oscar's still working on, which is uh, motor one doesn't behave nearly as well as motor zero. It sort of does these weird humming things. I can't even go straight. There's no traction. And people are gonna tell me to put rubber bike tires on it. I know, but it's, I was just trying to make the thing work. And traction does nothing if the wheels don't spin. No, oh my God. How hard is it to go in a straight line? <laughs> oh, here we go. It works better than the first one. Still got some issues though. Um, special thanks to Oscar for the O-Drive. It's an alpha board if you're a developer willing to deal with some quirks and bugs of a brushless servo driver, you should go check it out. It should be consumer ready in some months. It's really awesome if you want high torque at zero speed or very accurate controls for a CNC. Now, t-shirts. Do you want cat shirts? We got cat shirts. Bread cat. We got yellow. How do you feel about that? Oh, that's not good. That's it. I think that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god, everything exploded. <laughs>